So I've been getting questions about what are the differences between the Astrox 88 S and D Pro compared to their previous generation siblings, the regular 88 S and D. So let me quickly explain that in this short video today. I'll start with a super quick 30 seconds recap of the measurements and the specs of all four rackets. Let's get the timer on, let's go. From the top of the racket, all four rackets have very similar frame sizes, but the Pros have a fully recessed frame profile compared to only half for the previous generation. The Pros also have slightly thicker frames as well. In terms of the racket shafts, the newer Pro models have slimmer but shorter shafts compared to the older generation rackets. As for the wooden handles, the newer models come with longer racket handles to help with handling as well. Finally, the Astrox 88 S Pro does have a different stringing pattern compared to its older brother, the Astrox 88 S. Boom! 30 seconds, easy. So if you want a more in-depth discussion about the specs and visual comparisons, check out my mini review here. So let's move on to the actual hitting differences between all four rackets and here's the big reveal. The pros are a lot easier to play with compared to the older generation rackets. The older generation rackets were stiffer and more demanding to play with. The newer rackets felt a lot more user friendly and you were able to play the shots you wanted to easier as well. The newer pro model rackets were also faster and if we take the Astrox Alien S as an example, this racket was already very fast but the newer model was even faster. So a lot of you will enjoy this. So if I split the S and D models here and quickly point out where I think the differences are. And if we take the S models first, Astrox 88S Pro model is faster but had less power compared to the older 88S with also less head weight. The older 88S was also stiffer in that regard as well. So perhaps maybe that's why a lot of the pros who were playing with a second generation 88S did not switch to the newer 88S Pro. If we look at the D models, the newer Pro models again felt not as stiff as the previous generation, but I did not think this one lacked the power the previous generation had. The 88D Pro was again clearly faster compared to the previous generation, and this is certainly easier to play with as well. So that's why the 88D Pro was certainly my outright favorite out of the four rackets here. But if you're someone who really likes the feel of a very stiff racket, go for this normal second generation Astrox 88D. If you've not seen my full review of the Astrox 88 S and D Pro rackets, check them out here and more reviews and comparisons coming. So make sure you're subscribed for that as well. So I guess Yonex are making rackets which are aim at the masses for this one, making the rackets easier to play with and not as stiff compared to the previous generation models. However, they certainly need to come up with a different naming convention as it is getting really confusing with, for all of us with the repeated use of the 88s within their rackets. Not to mention there's also the tour and game series within the Astrox 88 models as well. So hopefully I've cleared up all the doubts you have on these rackets. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one.